The helium balloon has a volume of 0.02 cubic meters. The density of helium inside is 0.18 kilograms per meter cubed. The density of the air outside is 1.29 kilograms per meter cubed. The balloon, when deflated, has a mass of 3 grams. Find the tension in the string right over here. The balloon is at rest, and it's staying at rest, so the acceleration of the balloon is zero. If I draw the force diagram, I would have the mg of the balloon, and the balloon is touching the string, so there is the tension pulling on the balloon downward. Tension goes down, and the balloon is also touching the air, and in this case, the air provides the buoyant force upward and the balloon is not touching anything else, so we are done with the force diagram. Because the acceleration is zero, that means the upward force equals to the downward forces. So the buoyant force equals to the mg of the balloon plus the tension. According to the Archimedes principle, the buoyant force equals to the weight of the displaced fluid, which is the mg of the displaced fluid. And that equals to the mg of the balloon, so this is the mg of the balloon plus the tension. The mass of the displaced fluid is the density times the volume. Since it's the mass of the displaced fluid, it is the density of the fluid times the displaced volume. And then multiply by g and that equals to the mass of the balloon times g here. The mass of the balloon has two parts. There's the mass of the shell of the balloon and the, the mass of the helium inside. The shell of the balloon is 3 grams, so it is 0 0.003 kilograms. Plus the helium inside, the mass of the helium is the density times the volume. Since it's the mass of the helium inside, it is the density of the helium times the volume of the helium. And then multiply by the g, and then plus t. The density of the fluid, the fluid that the balloon is submerged in is air. So this is the air's density, 1.29. The volume displaced, the entire balloon displaces the air, so the displaced volume is the volume of the balloon, which is 0 0.02, and I'm just going to use 10 for g. The mass of the shell is 0 0.003 kilograms, the density of the helium 0.18. The volume of the helium is also the volume of the balloon 0 0.02. And then I'm going to use 10 for g plus t. So this will give me 0.258 on this side, 0 0.066 plus t on that side. So we'll find the tension in the string to be 0.192 newtons.